End of person exams are just around the corner and the goal this week is to become an academic weapon or at least try to do so. This morning I got up by 5 a.m. 5.30 a.m. actually. I did my devotional, shower, I got dressed and I tried to come downstairs to study as usual. But I typically try to start studying like from early in the post and then I'll still find out that when it's close to exam time, I'm still behind on the course schedule and everybody will always be like, oh, but you, you start studying since. I used to see you studying since. Guys, I'm a slow reader. My attention span is like non-existent. After studying for about an hour, 30 minutes, I decided to come back upstairs and get ready for the day. I've also started getting questions about my skin. What's my skincare routine? And while a detailed skincare routine video is coming up, let me just tell you guys now for free that guys, sunscreen. Apply your sunscreen every single day freaking day okay no matter how hard i try i realize that i am not a wig girly at all like i'm just wearing this wig just because okay we are starting the week but i am so tired i don't know how people do it i really just can't wait to go back to my sewings guys So morning lecture is over and I'm just disturbing Stefan. So much for trying to be an academic weapon this week because it literally started off this Monday without going for posting. I really hate that this week is starting out just like last week. Mm? I just passed the time and then I started heading downstairs for my afternoon class by 2. Hey guys, say hello to Atika Boo. Hi guys, pray <laughs> for me. <laughs> guys, she's writing exams. Afternoon class was really brief. Glory to God. Later that evening, yeah, evening. Later that evening, I had dinner, rice beans and soup. And pineapples. I love pineapple. I want to be a pineapple. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for Monday. The next day, Tuesday. This is my outfit of the day. And as you can see, I just had to bring out this scarf because I could not deal with when a week today. I don't have posting because, like I told you guys, the dermatology, nothing happens. But I'm still following the bus regardless because I want to go to the dentist at the hospital. If you go to the dentist, it's recommended that you do your skin and polishing like every six months. But I did mine February last year. So I am long, 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 long overdue for another one. And I'm finally doing it today. I'm getting to the hospital so the way my bubble of excitement busted. Like, I really understand when a lot of people don't like coming to public hospitals because the customer service, like nobody, nobody gives a flipping flip about you. <laughs> like if it's your first time in the hospital, you need to pay to get a card and then you need to pay a service charge, kind of like a consultation fee for a city doctor. So I already have a card at this hospital, but I need to pay a service and i didn't know that they don't use pos or something i'm so sorry like i thought we were all in the cashless you know environment this lady was so rich she looked at me like with so much disgust like look at this one what are you even doing here after paying for the service charge i took my receipt back to the dentist department and because i'm a medical student they were able to squeeze me in i waited a bit for them to finish with the patients that were before me and finally it was my turn Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. The experience I had in this place was not the best. This guy, really small, he would have drilled my teeth out. Like the pressure was so intense. They wanted to destroy my teeth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like no, guys, it was it was really really bad. Like, it's meant to feel a bit of discomfort because obviously it's uncomfortable to have somebody choking their hands in your mouth. Or it's not a painful process and yes you might bleed but it's not meant to be painful like i mentioned they use water the high pressure so after a while they allow you some room to spit the water out sorry guys this part some of you might find it gross it's just because there's a lot of spitting and drinking water and i don't know it's just kind of gross while i was there also they called me that the boss was here but i wasn't done with my skin and polishing so i just asked them not to wait for me My goodness. I wonder why everything in Nigeria has to be so aggressive. 
finally after we finished i was just like i've gone through a lot today let me just treat myself to bully one of the reasons why i personally love coming to this hospital is that outside they sell bully and as a real potato girl you can take me out of potato but you can never take potato out of me okay <laughs> at least when it comes to bully after getting the bully i waited a bit for my boat and then i started heading back to school Hmm, if I let me switch to my actual camera. Oh, first of all, let's, let's just check. Do you guys basically see any difference? I didn't take like a before video, so maybe I'll just look for one video that has a view of my teeth. Hmm. I see why people don't use to go to public hospitals for anything because it is just very discouraging. I felt like... <laughs> I felt like this guy wanted to remove my teeth. God knew that I've suffered enough for today. They sent a message to the group that they cancelled the afternoon lecture. So I was really happy. I have seen I took a nap. Then I woke up and decided to get ready to work out. I typically don't work out in the morning. I'm a morning workout girl. I'm a morning everything girl. Like any important thing I have to do for the day, I like to do it in the morning. But unfortunately, I don't know who that unfortunate individual is that decided to make a class start by 8 a.m. So what that means is that I no longer have any time to work out during the morning and I now have to force myself to work out in the afternoon. And guys, it is such a challenge. Number one, I'm not used to working out in the afternoon. Like I said, mornings are my prime time, okay? Apart from that, in the afternoon, I'm tired from the day's work and the day's journey. Number three, the afternoon is just hot. Like everything about it is just not favorable. So if you guys see my back getting bigger, just just pretend like it's not happening, okay? Because <laughs> I don't even know it is. I'm crying, my camera is in a lonely world. Let me actually stand up. So after working out, I went to get dinner. This night's dinner is swallow, which I usually enjoy, but for some reason I wasn't really enjoying this evening zone. I'm not sure why. So I had to make Indomie and eat Indomie instead. On and all, I really enjoyed the dinner while watching my comfort show Alias face. Guys, I love Alias face. Okay. I love her down. She's my sister in my head. <laughs> okay. Now it's finally time to talk to you guys about something kind of important. So just listen. I'm about to make an announcement for something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a 28-day fasting program in March. I did one in January, but it was completely free. About 100 people that signed up for it, and it was amazing. Even I had a lot of self-doubt, imposter syndrome, like, am I even good enough to be hosting this? Like, what do I know that these people already don't know? But, like, doing that actually made me realize that you actually know more than you think you do, and you're actually able to offer value to these people. This time around, it's paid. The price to register is 5,000 naira. So I'm about to post on my story now, and it's just so weird. Like, I don't know, like, something else like, would, like, give me your money. <laughs> something else like, like, give me your money is, like, girl like do i this isn't good enough to be charging for it like i'm really battling a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety but this year is really the year of just taking a chance on myself and just doing shit regardless of the anxiety because if i let the anxiety stop me i'm literally going to stay the same okay if i post it and nobody registers like who fucking cares like okay i care like let me be honest well at least i tried do you guys at least i took the step at least I was willing enough to talk about it, and yeah. So I'm just gonna freaking bite the bullet. I just want to let you guys know that I am doing a fasting community program ish thing again, like something like the one I did in January. You can hit the link to register if you're interested. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. By the time you guys see this vlog, it's going to be like too late to register and i don't know on youtube i've never really talked about like my weight loss journey so i'm a bit confused i don't know if it's even announced it on like my community post i don't know if anybody's gonna be interested you guys know that i am doing a fasting community ah! you guys i can't believe i just posted it 
people a lot of people register because I want to make a lot of money. Searching and struggling to find my will to live. You guys wouldn't believe what time I slept last night. And even worse, you wouldn't believe why I slept by that time yesterday. I don't know what rabbit hole I ended up on on YouTube. But why was I watching monkey ASMR videos by 1 a.m.? And in case you don't understand what I mean, what I mean is like monkeys. You just have to watch it to understand. I can't really explain it. Tell me I was watching that at 8am. I also didn't vlog yesterday, like at all. And I didn't vlog because I didn't do anything. I didn't go to school, I didn't go for posting. I don't know man, this week so far has just not been what I hoped it was going to be. I don't know what's happening. I don't just know what's happening baby. I also couldn't study this morning clearly because I slept by... I slept by like 1. I knew there was no, no way I was going to wake up early enough to just to study. I woke up late today, I woke up like 6.30. I mean, six thirty is not late, but I typically wake up earlier than that, so I'll be able to study in the morning. So, little Miss Monkey videos didn't allow that to happen. Today is Thursday. I'm also not going for posting today because nothing is actually happening in dermatology. Guys, the dermatology is such a cheap posting. If I was actually ever going to specialize, I think I would have specialized in dermatology because. It's so chill. Like when I tell you the consultant and I said, she comes to work like two times a week. Like nothing happens in that department. On the flip side of it, I actually really wanted to see the dermatologist like as a patient. So I was really hoping that me being in dermatology would be like a kill two birds with one stone kind of thing. But every single time we go there, the woman is not around. Every single time the clinic is locked. It's like... <laughs> So 
hype. For somebody that was contemplating suicide, oh, I'm just, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm exaggerating. But for somebody that was having some really, really, really self-depreciating thoughts for the past two days, but I guess I really enjoyed the Matology Lecture. That's why I'm really excited. Um, I was literally just telling my friend that this week has been like, you know, when you want, you have a goal in mind, you have things to achieve, but you still end up getting to the end points, but just not in the way that you hoped. I feel like that's what exactly what happened to me this week. Funga acne lecture. I don't. I know you guys don't care. <laughs> Mine started during puberty, as well as the one on my face. I treated the one on my face, but for some reason, I've just always neglected the ones on my chest and my back because, like, last last, nobody see my chest and my back, at least for now. <laughs> but nobody is seeing those. Do you understand? But at least my face was my priority. But I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to get rid of. All of it, like all of it should just go. I don't want, 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 I don't want. Of course, no posting. So, today and tomorrow, chill day, if my thoughts don't murder me halfway. Mm. I also got breakfast. Um, let me show you guys my breakfast. I'm supposed to fast. I'm supposed to be fasting till like 11 at least to 12. But honestly, I think I'm just going to just eat. Because on days when, <laughs> on days when I don't go for posting, it's hard to keep my mind up. I'm just going to eat and pretty much just chill until my afternoon lecture. So I'll talk to you guys when something is happening, okay? Bye! And it appears that indeed nothing happened after that because I stopped vlogging at that point. So much for trying to be an academic weapon this week. It seems like instead the weapons fashion against me were prospering. But I guess we'll try again next week. So see you in the next vlog. Bye and thank you for watching. <laughs>